Salutations, my common folk. So, I'm taking a different approach now, which is for my sanity and yours. So, pretty much anytime something happens, I'm just going to record that segment and clip it so I can just throw it all together in one, like, final story bit. And then... I mean, I mean, that's the gist, pretty much. That There is no, like, end in, but I'm going to clip it all into one big story bit. That way you don't have to see me constantly go in, fail, try again, fail, try again, over and over again, and get through 15 more of them arenas just to finish off the story. Anywho. Yo, looks like Didi's calling us, cowboy. Shocking development. Meet me at Hardwire. All right, well then. But progress has been made. I only beat one ranker. I got blitzed by the other ones. But yeah, she, DD's figured out some type of secret. So let's see what she got going on. Magadillo and Void are here. I guess that's everyone you invited. Okay, let's get started. I asked you all here to talk about my findings in the serial killer case. DD hasn't even told me what's going on. There's no evidence to be found. We've got to piece things together little by little. Who has time for all that? Do you know who the killer is? I don't have enough evidence. Then why call us? Why? Whatever. <laughs> I don't have enough evidence yet. <laughs> I'm with Skellin right now. I'm pretty, uh, let, let me, pretty heated. Let me continue what I've been doing and finish clearing the rest of this. I don't have enough evidence yet, but I think I've been down the most likely suspect. They hold the key to the whole thing. So who is it, Didi? You got to know. Let me start at the beginning. JJ, do you remember what you said about the killer's profile earlier? Yeah, he's fairly free to travel, and it's, I'm assuming it's Boogeyman. <laughs> uh, don't don't make it obvious, but please, don't, don't, like, please give me a sense of intrigue. Don't make it Boogeyman with the name Boogeyman. Yeah. He's fairly free to travel, and is connected to the victims through rumbling, and he can enter their real-life rooms. You got it. That's our JJ. So I started by looking for people who fit this description, or had a grudge. Huh? A grudge? No way. You mean the killer picked his victims deliberately? But they're so different. You're right. However... That hideous murder method in a threatening memo shows some kind of hard feelings toward the victims. So, what JJ meant before wasn't that the killer would be welcomed into a home, but that he wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, but there's no one who knew all the victims and satis- But there's no one who knew all the victims and satisfies all three points. I don't know why I had such a mental hiccup on that, but whatever. Especially the one about getting inside. Uh-huh. I see your logic. So who did you narrow it down to, Dee Dee? Don't freak out when I tell you, okay? I think the mo- Uh. You know what's funny? Watch Boogeyman die, and it's like, hey, you know, we made- if, I'll, I'll give them credit when credit's due. If they do a fake out and Boogeyman was like the red herring, he w he was supposed to be the blatantly obvious one, but it wasn't him. And then somebody in this group is going to be extra suspicious, I feel like. Maybe, I don't know. Don't freak out when I tell you, okay? I think the most suspicious person is the current first ranker, Boogeyman. What? That's ridiculous. Boogeyman? The Haven Serial Killer? It's just conjecture at this point, but Boogeyman did have issues with all of the victims. Some big, some small. Rants and feuding with Hot Rod and Flint, money problems with Houston and Quang 11, and he sued Hiromi Ogawa over her article. Still, defeating people is the name of the game in Rumbling, and everyone's got grudges. Not to defend Boogeyman. You're right. There are plenty of people who have problems with the victims, not just Boogeyman. But the last reason I have for picking them is in the killer's note and the victim's chat logs. That trick-or-treat. 
from that threatening note. Yeah, so what does Trick or Treat have to do with Boogeyman? Halloween is the word that links the two. Probably not the holiday, but a horror movie from about a hundred years ago. M movie Uh-huh. And a real classic for the time. Uh, you really bringing up Michael Myers? <laughs> I talk about a dated reference. That's, that's a minute. Uh-huh. And a real classic for the time. The movie's... Boogeyman was a white masked killer who showed up on Halloween. It's really old, so I don't expect you to know it. If my dad hadn't been a horror nut, I, I sure wouldn't have thought of it. One more thing. I always wondered why Boogeyman had Carpenter on his SV. Does that have to do with that movie too? You bet. No other suspects had ties to Halloween, and Boogeyman has no alibi for the days in question. So there you go. So far, though, we still don't know what Jack 33 meant in that note. It's bugging me. Why was Flint number 33? Hmm. I haven't cracked that code yet. That number must mean something for sure. What is it? Oh, no, they got sand, didn't they? <laughs> don't, don't tell me that. What is it, Sin? Something about Dee Dee's explanation? Okay, thank God. No, it's nothing. Never mind. So, to sum it all up, you've got a rough outline, but you're missing the last piece. That about right, Dee Dee? It's a pretty good outline, though, eh? All I have to do now is figure out that 33, and I can show up that damn task force. I'll get the scoop on Boogeyman's arrest. Then I'll publish my detective memoirs. Ugh, wow. Nah, I was like, I was, I was slowly losing it. And then, <laughs> just a train wreck at that point. I'll get the scoop on Boogeyman's arrest. Then I'll publish my detective memoirs and win a Pulitzer, uh, Pulitzer, not a Pulitzer, a Pulitzer and the royalties. I'm assuming it's Sin, because Sin's like, this bitch has no idea it's me. And she's getting kind of close. Is she, like, maybe she's like halfway on, but way off in terms of the actual well she's way off in terms of the suspect but she's like on in terms of the Halloween reference so Sin's like oh it's only a matter of time so I'm assuming it's Sin because he's getting quiet uh Dee Dee you can dream all you want but reality but reality isn't cooperating see this news bulletin huh let me see hmm ICPO and okay, dude, you, you just take all the mystery away, huh? ICPO and Illinois po police arrest Boogeyman for suspected involvement in the Haven serial murders. What the? I guess you and the ICPO reached the same conclusion. There's a press conference now. The editorial desk just called. It's sin. I'm telling you, it's sin. There's no way, cause he's getting all quiet, and then they. All of a sudden, called it settled, and I still got more stuff to do. Crap. All my plans gone up in smoke. What right does that task force have to mess up my life like that? Why me? Why? Uh, anyway, we've got to get going. If anything else happens, you'll hear from Dee. Bye now. So, Boogeyman's been arrested as a suspect. Hope this puts an end to it all. I wonder what happens now. I guess we just pray Dee Dee's detective work is on track. It's not. <laughs> I still got, like, a good chunk of the game to finish, so I know it's not. I guess so. We've had enough sad news. Let's get going. Yeah. Alright. Later, Magatilo. Do well in your match. I'll be watching it in HDTV. Oh my god. God, high quality skeleton you shouldn't have. You put me on Blu-ray. I appreciate my dog. See you, Magatilo. We'll start hanging around Haven a little more. Bye, Magatilo and Boy. We're looking forward to your performance. Good luck. And that's the end of that. All right, well, I'll see you when the next thing happens. Hang on. The HBC headline news is coming in. More info on Boogeyman.
I'll flip it up now. I'm assuming he died. <laughs> Time for day 045 HBC headline news. Today's top story, the arrested boogeyman's personal data has been published online. Sure, wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> boogeyman's kind of old to be competing, don't you think? Yeah, whatever. I guess he wanted to keep his spot up in the top tier rumbling league. But what? That, that, that's besides the point. Shortly after Boogeyman turned himself into the ICPO, his private data, his, see, he turned himself in. He wouldn't turn himself in unless he's covering for somebody, which makes sense, I guess. I don't know, I'm trying to detective this, you know? I'm trying to see how good I'll be as a detective, but anyway. Shortly after Boogeyman turned himself into the ICPO, his private data, his photo, name, and address appeared on the net. Many sites unilaterally support Boogeyman calling him the King of Killers and are pointed out as proof of societal decay. ISPs have been asked to delete the various postings in order to bring some resolution to this severe breach of privacy. However, the information is reposted as soon as it, it has <coughs> uh, as soon as it is deleted. ISPs are having difficulty keeping up. Say, what do you think about that, Magatilo? Evil's anywhere. And the evil's everywhere, including online. Oh, looks like Didi's call. So it's either she dies now. Or she figures out the secret and then she's running from somebody because she figured out the secret okay I, 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 it, the music really dictates what's gonna happen to somebody and if it's just this we're fine for right now hey there Magatilo and Void since I post info online too today's news really hit close to home from what I heard Boogeyman's getting hundreds of abusive letters and emails a day then there's his family and friends. The net, let, the net lets anyone share information, but the rampant exaggeration and disregard for accuracy are real problems. The more sensational it sounds, the more magazines they sell, and the more hits their sites get, it's elementary. No, and the more hits their sites get, it's elementary. And in a wired society, you always have users who abuse their not... Ugh, anon wow, can I not say that word? Anonym an oh. <laughs> Anonymity Anonymity You fucking know You know the word To have fun <laughs> There's certain words, man Anonymity Anonym I don't know I have to hear somebody else say it to copy it Because that's just something that It's been a while since I I, I can say anonymous Anonym Anonymity, anonymity, and An to have fun with the real inflammatory stuff. That must be our number one problem. Most of those users aren't out to be bad. They just mess around under their aliases. It's really all just for kicks. We have to be careful not to add to those kicks with the things we post. We have to think about ethics before taking action. Well, we should be. We, uh, well, we should be going. The ICPO is brief. ICPO briefing is about to start. Okay. See you, Magatilo and Void. See you, Magatilo. Void. Give him hell in your next rumble. Alright, cool. Cool stuff. Alright, nothing else? Alright, well, next one. That's Link's over there, cowboy. Let's get into talk mode and say. Huh? Oh no. Oh well, <laughs> sucks for you. Are, are they all getting uh, muted or something and panicking? Because they're trying to like coordinate how to save each other? Maybe maybe, maybe Lynx is causing it. I don't know. Oh no, they're speaking in incognito. I can't figure out what they're saying. Hmm. <laughs> They uh, masked their communication. There we go. They jammed my signal. I can't figure out what they're saying. There are. I guarantee you, they, those three are like. Okay, now now it's now it's turning into maybe one of them figured out that he was doing that, and then now he's getting mad because even though I thought it was sin, it was links. I don't know. It's one of those idiots. 
Okay, may, may, maybe Link. She's taking a defensive stance. She's like, what would make you think that I would kill Link, my long-term friend? Talking in secure mode, eh? Let's not waste any more time. Come on. Why why we stay here in the first place? It's like the second I heard nothing but I wouldn't even bother. I was like, okay, cool. Get, get back to me when you get your shit together. <laughs> it is whatever. Hang on, the HBC headline news is coming in. More info on Boogeyman. I'll flip it up now. Time for day 068 HBC headline news. Today's news, charges were dropped against Boogeyman, suspect in the Haven murders. And uh, wow, I guess the first time I'm seeing that word. Oh, never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, Bridget. Uh, I read it as pretrial instead of pretrial. I don't know why, but I, I'm gonna just let that be its own thing. In a pre-trial hearing, and usually I see the dash in between, you know, the separate, the pre and trial, not pre-trial together like that. It's weird. Uh, anywho, in a pre-trial hearing held yesterday, an Illinois, Illinois court dismissed murder charges against Boogeyman, citing lack of evidence. Boogeyman's counsel was able to establish an alibi for each of the serial murders and protested his false arrest. People around the globe saw Boogeyman's image online and contacted his lawyers with corroborating eyewitness reports. Speaking through his counsel after the hearing, Boogeyman said he would apply for temporary leave from FIRA activities. Boogeyman's lawyers are also preparing a civil case against some of the, invi some of the individuals who posted his private details online. Hey there, Magatilo and Void. Did you see today's headline news? I guess Boogeyman wasn't the bad guy, huh? I mean, I had a little uh, secure call issue between uh, Link, Skell, and Sin, so whatever they're doing. <laughs> I was wondering who you were, so the court dismissed the charge. No. I was wondering who you. Okay, yeah, whatever. I was wondering who you were, so the court dismissed the charges. It'd be a waste of time to tell him now. I heard he got almost 10,000 eyewitness reports. Ironic that he'd be saved by that leaked info. I doubt Boogeyman's too happy about it, and that it's full of vicious posts now, and even the real world doesn't like him much. Despite being a victim of a false arrest and civil rights violations, most still see him as a bad guy. Poor guy. But, if Boogeyman is innocent, the investigation's back to square one. Yeah, probably so. Nothing will happen without some new facts. And now another and now another murder is highly likely. Yeah, the real killer's still out there. Wait a sec. Doesn't that mean I still have a chance to catch him? Then why am I standing here chit chatting? See you, Magatilo and Void. I'll catch the killer soon. You'll see. What am I going to do with her? See you later, Magatilo and Void. Can't wait to hear about your next match. Sin said the guy knew something for sure. Don't worry. That's been locked up for years. Not even any archives left. That's Lynx over there, cowboy. Doesn't look like he's in secure mode. That means we can go say hi. Come on, Lynx. You feel it too, don't you? I don't know why. But it's like someone's trying to frame us. Well, that doesn't matter. Makatilo's been telling me everything. Uh, oh, oh, what's up, Makatilo? So it was Helix talking. Helix was the bird. And then now, okay, I get it. Uh, oh, what, what's up, Makatilo? Did you need something from me or Skell? No, we're just... No. We were just passing through when we saw you and thought we'd say hi. Oh, I see. It's been a while, hasn't it? Don't worry, Sergeant and I are fine. I know you went out of your way to talk to us, but we've got some business to take care of. That, that, that's right. <laughs> I, I did that so wrong. That, that, that's right. Skelm's been sensing some uneasiness in the air. 
Oh, it was the chip to Aminity. It was the chip talking. Oh, there, Sergeant. That's enough. But hey, it's not my problem if you want to shoot yourself in the foot. Mind your own business, Helix. Sergeant's just worried about me. Cut it out, you two. Come on. Let's get going. Bye, Magatilo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah, okay, Lynx. See you, Magatilo and Void. I feel like I could have done that better. At least this part, but whatever. They're gone. They must be keeping something from us. Oh, you think? They were secure mode the first time, and then now they're all standoffish. Like, it, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Well, the Halloween killer just laid out another rhyme after I completed another, uh, what's it called, tier, rank, complete, yeah, completed another competition, bust out a rhyme out of nowhere, I'm sitting there just staring off into the void, looking at my phone while I'm waiting, and then out of nowhere, I'll hear, oh no, and it won't even, it's automatic too, so it won't even give me control to choose whether or not I want to skip it. It just skips it automatically once it's done. Anywho. Hang on. The HBC headline news is coming in. More on the murders. I'll flip it up now. And I'm assuming that Elise is going to repeat it again. Knowing that it repeated the last one. So let's hope it does that so you can see what it said. Time for day 024, HBC Headline News. Today's news, another threatening message on the Haven murders makes its way online. Since noon yesterday, more rumbling related sites were hacked into and the content on some pages altered. According to the task force, the message left behind appeared to foretell the next victim in a serial murder case. Trick or treat, three little jacks, so glad to be alive. Jackie Siddles, Siddles? Really? Jackie Siddles up to one is number 25. Three and me, they rhyme all right. So do horror and murder, it's all right. Saucy Jackie. From the digital signatures on the altered pages, the task force has determined that both messages were from the same person. They are analyzing access logs and working hard at unraveling the cryptic message to head off another murder. Uh, another murder, Ooh. Man, that killer is something else. What's the task force been up to? Huh? Oh, Dee Dee's here. Hi, Magatilo and Void. The killer's on the move again, and now he's telling us what he's doing. Too bad that damn task force doesn't know who he is or who he's after. All we know is their number, 25. Could it be the list of how many competitions I've been doing? I don't know, man. I I'm just saying, I'm rising up in the ranking. Could be me next. And that mystery hasn't been solved yet either. 25 doesn't follow follow Flint's 33, but I do see the numbers getting smaller. The killer's running circles around us. We have no solid leads anymore. It's just so frustrating. I guess all we can do is try to find any links between the victims and the killer. Oh yeah, did you guys see Skelm? Skelm, eh? The last time I saw him, was with Lynx a while ago. Nothing since then. Really? I see. Skelm sent me an email asking me to look into something. Guess he wants to talk. Oh well. I'll wander around Haven for a while and look for Skelm. See you, Magatilo and Boy. Your games must be heating up. Don't back down now. See you later, Magatilo and Boy. Hey, wait a sec, Makatilo. I've got to ask you something. Please, I won't take no for an answer. Still pushy as ever, ain't you, pal? What is it you want to ask us? Something about Dee Dee? Yes, we were looking for Dee Dee, but... <clears throat> yes, we were looking for Dee Dee, but actually we're trying to find Lynx right now. That's right, Makatilo. Lynx hasn't been coming home much lately. I thought I could find him in Haven. Sorry, Skelm. We haven't seen Lynx around at all. The last time we did, he was with you. Is that so? Lynx, you jerkwad. Where'd you go? This isn't good. I found someone else we can ask. 
Let's call them up and talk to them. All right. Thanks, Sergeant. See you, Magatilo. Sorry to bother you. We'll have a nice chat when we have time. There they go, busy as ever. Hey, Embryo's calling. Hey there, Magatilo and Void. Say, uh, did Skelm come by here? Skelm was here, all right. Not anymore, though. We left to look for Lynx. I see. Skelm and Sin have been acting kind of strange lately. Embryo and I are worried about them. I'm going to try to go after Skelm. See you later, Magatilo and Void. I'm getting better and better music. I don't know where it's coming from. I guess it's because I'm getting closer to beating the game that they're deciding to drop the rest of their playlist. But hey, man. I'm a fan of it, so I'm not complaining. Anywho. Hang on. The HBC headline news is coming in. More on the murders. Wait. Is this a joke? Time for day 044, HBC Headline News. Today's news, another possible victim in the Haven murders. This time, a stabbing. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's Sin. I haven't heard from Sin in a while. The family of pro rumbler Paul Hardesty, 24, also known as Skelm, discovered his body in their New Jersey home yesterday. Hardesty has been had been stabbed several times in the face in the face oh my gosh dude that has to suck in the face and chest with a sharp knife hopefully they did the chest first make it quick <laughs> before they went for the face cause that that's a whole nother level of pain depending on where you go anywho uh, Hardesty has been stabbed several times in the face and chest with a sharp knife the cause of death was a severed car uh, car cauteroid Karate, karate, sever karate, cutter. Uh, I feel like they said that wrong. I feel like I'm right. It's cauteroid. And they spelled it wrong or something. I don't know. Edgewater police say Hardesty was killed while wearing his head mounted display and that his IC was found destroyed nearby. Because Hardesty was on the same team as a previous murder victim, it is believed his murder is connected to the Haven case. The investigation is proceeding slowly. No useful information has yet been found regarding Hardesty's killer. Huh? Hey, Magatilo and Void. First Flint, then Skell. What a nightmare. Even the ICPO thinks the murder is related. Okay, I did that right. They're really looking into Skell's death. It could be a copycat murder, too. We're going to keep at it anyway. I wonder what Skelm wanted me to check out for him. This may not be appropriate, but I'm sure there are people who get satisfaction from seeing you afraid. That's right. You keep on rumbling. Think of it as a... I, <laughs> I've been rumbling for so long. I just want to solve the mystery. I don't... I don't want revenge. <laughs> I want closure. <laughs> Please. Think of it as a kind of revenge. See you, Magatilo and Void. I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh, and it kicked... It kicked me out right at the part where the music was gonna get real good. I just lost. This is happening randomly, by the way. I haven't defeated any ranker yet. That's Steady over there, cowboy. Let's pop in and check out the situation. Tell me, Sin. How was Skelm when you saw him in a hospital? I know it's hard, but... Is he still alive? That would suck. Oh, he is. That's... <laughs> Let's hope it was slashes more than stabbing. <laughs> I couldn't see his face too well. I guess because he was really cut up. Skull. All I remember are his hands. His translucent hands, white as snow. His fingers opened loosely. Normal hands with no defense wounds. That's what her police said so, too. So, the killer's got a new style, I guess. The ICPO is still saying it's likely the work of the Haven serial kill- no. So, the killer's got a new style, I guess. The ICPO is still saying it's likely the work of the Haven serial killer. 
Sergeant's broken too. Damn it! I knew this would happen! But where the hell is Lynx? Just calm down, Sin. Listen, Boogeyman's on leave, right? So, I'm sure Lynx must be busy. Oh, what would you know, Embryo? If my calculations are correct, the next victim would- Oh, so he's actually scared because the next one's him. So you know who it's going- uh, So you know who it's gonna be. I really like to hear about these calculations of your sin. It doesn't take a genius to know that the whole team's getting wiped out. It's like, <laughs> I'm the third most popular. <laughs> Sorry for being so blunt, but I don't want any more victims either. <sighs> What's it to you anyway? Sorry, but I've got to help out at Skeleton's funeral. Oh, so he is dead. They, they they just went to the morgue to see the wounds on the body. Okay. Sorry, but I've got to help out at Skeleton's funeral. Goodbye. Huh? Hey. Sin. <clears throat> huh? Hey, Sin! He's gone. He looked downright defeated. Well, when you lost two close friends, I suppose it's to be expected. I've never seen Sin that distracted. Better get in touch with him later on. That's probably a good idea. Oh yeah! Tell Sin I won't force that prediction out of him either. Got it. I guess we'll be going too. Sorry we couldn't talk more, Magatilo. See you. And we got to get back to the case. Are we on track, JJ? As long as you've done your assignment, what you do on your own time is your business. Besides, I want an end to this. Okay. I'm glad you're so understanding. See you later, Magatilo and Void. Let me know if you see anything unusual. I am getting new segments left and right, dude. It's popping off. Time for Day 047, HPC Headline News. We have breaking Fear League news. The longtime competitor and celebrated rumbler, Magatilo, has just... Oh, it's a achievement. Really? Okay, whatever. Well, I to be talking about generations. No signs are slowing down. Expect to continue to compete. Oh, cool. And here I was thinking it was the story beat, only to realize, oh, hey, it's a little achievement. I don't care. I want to know who did it. That's all I want. That's like legitimately all I want at this point. But yeah, next one. All right, fire music aside, um, they're starting to mess with the lobby itself now, and Void's bringing it up. Hang on a sec. The junction looks hectic. Get in the talk mode and see what's up, cowboy. Have you heard about the rumors about the Haven serial killer case? About the wacko called Puppet Master getting into people's noggins? No, about that lunatic's killing spree from San Francisco to Beijing. Man, you're way off. The real killer is holed up in a Japanese fort. Never mind all that. Have you seen the real Jackie Fan website? The one with the the one with CG murder uh, the C wow the one with CG murder movies starring Jackie as some kind of dark hero. Yep, I heard they're gonna sell T-shirts that show the victims' faces. Ha! <laughs> You're kidding. They're gonna wind up on some online auction. Supposedly, it's all to help arrest the killer, so why not? What do you mean, why not? Those site admins sure got a lot of nerve. Probably think we'll never find out who they are. Oh, wait. Wasn't someone gonna post that thread on their B on their BBS? It's there. It's, it's there. It's there. I whipped it up and posted it myself. Awesome, man. You rock. You're a contender for sure. I just don't get it. How can people laugh at this awful stuff? Tell me, cowboy. I don't need you going Skynet there, Void, because you get disillusioned with humanity. But yeah, um, it's, uh, it's a lot closer. If you notice, it's weird. 
like before at least they'll be like a little bit back but ugh. let me uh i, I want to experiment so let me fix the chip first go to hardwired and then if nothing else happens then you know next one but i have been making quite the monster of a chip right now it's been doing good leveling just know that it has been quite literally basically three in-game years just about <laughs> all right if that settled boom just to see if something's cooking over here probably not and then all i have now is tokyo i'm not tokyo all i have so all i have left that i haven't really done done is stuttgart but las vegas is being done right now i got like two more in las vegas and i'm I'm home free. It's just stuck garden. I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, next one. Hang on. The HPC headline news is coming in. More on the murder threat. I'll flip it up. And when I cut to the next part, to this one, conveniently, like, he came up with another riddle. He or she. I don't know who it is yet. But they came up with another riddle. It was like, oh, now there's two. Blah, blah, blah. You'll see what it is. Time for day 055, HBC headline news. Today's news, another threatening message and a vicious prank in the Haven murders. More rumbling related sites were hacked into and the content on some pages altered. From the digital signatures on the altered pages, the task force has determined that the notes were left by the serial killer. To prevent another murder, netizens, especially rumbers, are asked to provide any useful info they may have. The note, trick or treat. Three little jacks shivering with fright seek a haven on the net. Jack's knife flashes, then they are two. So Jack number 13 hits a snafu. Saucy Jackie. The task force also re reports finding many copycat threats on major blogs and private BBSs posted under the same Jackie name. The community is asked not to be swayed by the, these copycat notes as police and ice. Ugh. The community is asked not to be swayed by these copycat notes as police and ISPs worldwide work to identify the prankster. The ICPO is vouching for the real note. Ironic. Still, the... Ironic. Still, the killer's on the move. Wonder who's gonna be next. I'm just going to hard work because I'm like, I am curious. There's like... You know, things are like really popping off right now. I got one more in Las Vegas, and it's just straight Stuttgart. Oh, wow. It's like... It's like extra silent right now. Anywho. Wait a sec, cowboy. That Sinan Link's arguing, uh, arguing over there. What the heck happened? What are you afraid of? That stupid wirehead poem? Give me a break. Give me a break? Are you nuts, Lynx? He's really coming out. So they know. They know who it is. He's really coming after us. Your point? Look, I told you. He's gone. It's all in the Matrix now. Then, how can you explain what's going on? Who's the copycat? I think I might know who double-crossed me. Just settle down, okay? This, this is a no-joke, Lynx. You knew the betrayer and didn't help Skelm? I can't believe your empty promises anymore. I'll do as I please. Unbelievable. I'm up to my neck in backstabbing jerks. What a pain those two are. Hard to jump in when they're like that. Wonder if they'll ever kiss it. What? Dude, we're like, this is clear evidence that they are involved in it. And then you're just like, oh, eh, what a pain. Boys will be boys. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why do I gotta finish Stuttgart 2? Hey, yep, you're doing it to me. Gotta, gotta get revenge by rumbling, apparently. Lovely stuff, isn't it?